In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become through doing daily tips and tricks just like this one. Now in today's video, we're going to be discussing the play Mesh from the Gun Bunch. And if you have not already heard, I actually just released a Gun Bunch offensive ebook uh, and there's going to be a link to that i'm going to put a link to that in the description but it's a complete gun bunch guide from the jets playbook walks you through everything that you need to know about the gun bunch and so if you have not already picked it up yet like i said i'm going to put a link to that in the description but the play is mesh and this is one of my favorite plays specifically for um, people who don't like to, or just people like for zone coverage. It's one of the best zone beaters in the entire game. So literally all we're going to do is we're going to shriek the R1 receiver. We are going to take the square receiver right here. And you can do a lot of different things with him, but I actually typically like to go ahead and put him on a smoke screen. And I like to put my running back or my triangle receiver on a smart route option. As you can see, this is kind of what it looks like. And then I'm just going to smart route that circle receiver. You see that's going to keep that nice, narrow little corner route. And when you motion him outside like this, you're typically going to get a lot of separation in the zone coverage. So as you can see there, that's a cover four um, situation. I'm going to show you a cover three here in just a moment. And then we're going to discuss some zone drop stuff as well. But the beauty of this is that it really does create a nice little horizontal spacing concept. You have flats on both sides that if they're not disciplined with their defensive uh, formula, you can hit the flats. You also have the ability to be able to hit, you know, kind of that next tier as well. Now, if they run man-to-man -man coverage, the thing that I also like about this is that this running back option route is one of the best man beaters um, in the entire game. It's just going to do a very, very good job at consistently beating man-to-man, -man, just cutting it to the outside. And honestly, it's probably the only route on this play that I would recommend running against man-to-man. -man. This is definitely a play that you want to run once you've kind of forced them out of man coverage. Now, if they are running man coverage and you wanted to kind of hedge your bet a little bit, you could put your tight end on a little five-yard little hook, little quick out right there. And as you can see, you can beat man-to-man -man with that as well. Now, one thing I want to discuss really quickly before I jump into the um, to dealing with zone drops is match coverage. So this is a cover four show too. In my opinion, this is the best match coverage in the entire game. And you will notice that with based off of kind of how the match coverage works, he will get matched. And as you can see, the corner route's not going to be open. So if they do run some type of match coverage, that's not going to be open. But we're going to come back to the um, we're going to come back to the old faithful, which is that running back option route. You're going to see that against match coverage, this will absolutely torch it. You see literally just cuts to the outside, wide open, and you're going to have about 10 to 15 yards. As long as you catch the ball, you're going to have about 10 to 15 yards. So match coverage and man coverage, this play is not the best for, but it does do okay with. It's really built and designed to be able to be a very, very effective uh, zone beater. Okay, And so I'll... A lot of people, whenever they defend Gun Bunch, they're going to be using some version of the Mike Blitz 3 uh, from the Nickel 335 wide with something like this as their zone drops where they, they're they going to basically be able to kind of, you know, basically create, play very disciplined defense. So I'm going to share with you this little um, and how this really works against a Mike Blitz 3 kind of cover 3 Mabel style of zone coverage. Um, and so again, I'm just going to use the, the routes here. And what you're going to notice is that this circle receiver is just going to get wide open on the outside. As long as you motion them out, get that nice little hesitational um, motion snap, you're going to have a ton of success. There's not a Mabel coverage in the game that I've seen that's going to do that good of a job against this. So you're going to have a lot of success with that. You also can hit this little quick seam if they're not paying attention. You can hit that quick seam right up the middle of the field. But all in all, guys, this is just one of my favorite zone beaters in the entire game. Now, if you want to learn my entire um, formula and my entire way to run the Gun Bunch offense in Madden 21, we'll literally show you how to beat every single defense consistently. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. Like I said, that offense is just $15, and I'm going to be leave, leaving a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just hit me up via text message. My number is 208-218-6900.